Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to The Sims 4. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I am certainly excited to be back here with myself, Sim. This isn't myself, Sim. This is Miss Maria Anderson. But myself, Sim, is somewhere in the house as well. As is the cat flick nerd himself, Indy, who is currently heading into the hall to go do something. What am I up to? Oh, I'm having breakfast at 4.30 a.m. I mean, that seems fair enough and somewhat realistic. So, you know, why not? We'll have breakfast at 4.30 a.m. So last time, last time was pretty huge. We moved house. Literally, are you begging for food, mister? Can you not do that? Although I do, I always get, yeah. I feel like that's very, yeah. I always give Indy food from the table and Maria's going to tell him not to beg for food. For, yeah, that sounds about right. I'm going to be honest. That sounds, that sounds kind of accurate. Can, are you going to be able to like, is telling him off for begging for food an option? I have no idea. I'm not going to worry too much about it anyway. Uh, what are you, what are you smelling? What are you, what are you complaining about smell? Oh, I mean, you two were adorable. But yeah, last time we moved out of the apartment and into this house. And on top of that, these two also got engaged. If you didn't watch the previous episode of this, I, what are you doing? I mean, you missed so much. Some pretty big changes. So, you know, spoiler, I guess, uh, for that. But today, today, my sim has work. He goes to work in five hours. He'll get like 2,200 from that, roughly. Uh, Maria actually has a couple of days off. So I'm figuring what we could do is have her do a little bit of painting so that we can get some money. Not that we're struggling for money. We're doing all right. But so that we can get a little bit of money. I think we'll head upstairs and see if we can do a... Uh, let's see. Realism painting. Large realism painting. Doesn't seem like a bad idea, so she's going to head up and do that, which seems fair enough. Indy is sleeping in front of the fridge, which seems accurate, and I'm laughing at the sink. Because, of course, I am. Uh, I'm apparently very playful. What do we got here? What do you want to do? Laser pointer with Indy, that's fine, and woohoo, okay. I mean, whatever. Uh, what do you got? You want to, yeah, get married. So that's, yeah, that'll, that'll happen. That comes in time. I want to make sure we have the money for a somewhat nice wedding, even though the wedding will, the wedding will probably be like out here somewhere. But, you know, I still want the money to get the stuff for a nice wedding, basically. That's, that's kind of the goal here. So we'll see how that ends up going. As for Indy, he's currently yelling about something. I don't know what he wants. But we could uh, tell him a story, which is something we can do while we're painting, which is kind of nice. So we'll tell him a bit of a story. And then we can uh, go ahead and finish the painting sometime soon, hopefully, and hopefully get a decent little bit of money from this. We're also about to level up the painting skill, which is nice. So it's going to go up to level seven. So we're almost at a point where both of them are super, super good at painting, which I'm really happy about. So that's not so bad. The painting's still not done, though, so if we could do that, that'd be great. Penny... Okay, yeah, I bet you are. Penny's excited, apparently. We'll see about that. Uh, let's go ahead and sell the painting to a collector. Because I want to get it out of here. And I've also read some comments that have said that it would be a better idea for me to start writing with uh, one of these sims. Start writing and then release books and get royalties from all that stuff. And I'm, I'm kind of tempted... It is tempting, but I mean, there's a whole life ahead of these sims. There's a lot of stuff they could do. So, okay. Spontaneous outfit change, apparently. Oh, you're going to work, aren't you? Yeah, so you're off to work. That's fine. But yeah, there's there's a lot of options, really, is, is what I'm getting at. There's a lot of different options for what they could do. Writing is one option. So, I mean, we can head up and get started. We could head up and start writing, uh, you know, just practice writing and see how that goes and really just go from there. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I owe four and a half thousand in bills. Four and a half thousand in bills. 
Why? I oh oh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of. I don't know if we. <laughs> oh oh, that's a lot of money. That's so much money. Oh boy, uh, Masato. You know, I actually believe that Masato would congratulate us. I legit believe Masato would absolutely be over the moon at these two Sims being engaged. I don't believe Penny for a second, though. I really don't. I do not believe Penny in the slightest when she's like, Oh, I'm so happy for you. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're literally not. Let's be, let's be real here, Penny. You're just not. Uh, anyway, the good news is that when my Sim gets back from work, he will uh, bring like two and a half thousand ish Somalians with him. So, oh, we can self-publish books. All right. I might just have you start writing books immediately. I feel like that's something we could do here. So write, write a genre, write a children's book. We'll, we'll write a children's book. Uh, what are we going to call this? Oh, that, that's a good question. Uh, go the f to sleep. There we go. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um... A how-to guide, guide for helping your little little one, uh, uh, gently fall asleep. Uh, rated M for mature. There we go. So, uh. We'll get this written and see how that ends up going. Probably not very well, because I'm pretty sure we're like writing level two, so whatever. Uh, now you're gonna pay the bills, which are ridiculous. Ridiculous bills is what they are, but that's fine. Uh, my Sim's currently very tense. I'd like to uh, see if we can do something about that. So maybe go sit there, maybe brush Indy a little bit. See if we can get him to calm down slightly, just to, you know, give the cat a quick brush. Pet calmingly. Let's see if we can calm down a bit there by petting the cat. And let's head upstairs and do a painting, because we really need money. We really need money. Like, so much money. Just, just so much money. Uh, large realism painting, please. If you wouldn't mind there, buddy. You know, really got to, uh, really got to get that money going. So, uh, can you go, you, I know you want to go sleep, but I kind of really want you to resume writing your book. I really, I really want the book to get, to get done to see if it's any good. I mean, your writing skill is level two, so I'm not going to hold my breath. But you'll get there eventually. Eventually, you'll uh, get good. So we're just going to hold out for that, really. We're not going to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. That's just not going to be happening. Uh, you know, I'm just looking at this and thinking, wait, did that computer just break? You didn't. You That didn't just break, did it? Did it? No, it didn't. You're just not writing. Okay, so you won't... You need to unblock... Okay, so you need to do something fun. And that's going to be sleep. Can we get you to not sleep and instead go have a coffee? So go brew a coffee. And then maybe go and... I don't know, play an online game. Just, I don't know, multiplayer game. No, don't do it. Eh... Can we just get you to play a game? Do like party frenzy or something? My phone's ringing. Who's this? Misato wanted to go light fireworks and has since given up on the idea. All right there, buddy. Uh, so you can have your coffee. You're going to sit and enjoy your coffee whilst sat on the cat. Fair enough. And I'm over here having painted this. Not bad. Let's go sell it to a collector. And both Sims are getting kind of tired. But I think I will let my Sim go have a coffee. And then they can both go to bed a little bit later down the line. Because it's a little bit early. So we'll just... We'll hold off a little bit. What's up with him? He he really needs the bathroom. Go use the bathroom then. It's not like I'm stopping you. There you go, buddy. He's very confident after that as well. Alright, well, it's coming up on 8pm. So let's head upstairs. We can uh, have him go sleep. And you can go and sleep. Although he he was he's keen to uh, you know woohoo, but well they're probably both a little bit tired for that. We'll just we'll just assume. Uh, as for you, maybe stop the game and go to bed. And Indy, you are 
gonna do whatever you do. I don't know what you're gonna do. Wait, am I? Why are they both awake? Why did you both wake up? You, you wanted to go to bed, did you not? Like I thought, both of you just wanted to go to sleep. There you go. Oh, I love when he does this. It's the best thing. It is the best thing. Uh, I'm not going to bear night at the bar. I am a homeowner, sir. I have responsibilities and bills to pay. If you don't mind. Um, I will admit, though, I'm slightly concerned about the fact that um, this house may be super expensive to live in. I am really concerned about that. So uh, we'll see how that ends up going. I think what we'll do, though, is uh, Maria's getting there with her energy so she can wake up and have a bath and then maybe, I don't know, bake something. Breadsticks, brownies, sugar cookies. No. Uh, what about cook a gourmet meal, I guess. And we'll go for like, what's good? We'll go for, yeah, pasta primavera or whatever. And we'll do party size. And we'll see how that goes. So, what is it? It's coming up on, like, 4 a.m. Let's get you up at, like, 5? Oh, you're awake. All right, and you just canceled everything I asked you to do. Can you go take a bubble bath, please? Um, and then cook a gourmet meal. We'll go with uh, Pasta Primavera for a party, because why not? And uh, there you go. A nice bubble bath in the morning to uh, wake yourself up. Do you have work today? You're working an hour? Oh boy, you're not going to have time to get that food. So we're going to instead maybe get you to, uh, I don't know, get leftovers. That might be the easiest way to do things because I, I do actually want to go to work with Maria today because I really want to uh, diagnose and treat two patients. You know, I want to I wanna get that out of the way so I can start sending her to work on her own. Uh, anyway, let's maybe get you out of the bath because we really want to make sure that you're at least, you know, fed. That seems like kind of a good idea. So we'll get you some leftovers just so you can eat. You do need to go to the bathroom as well, but you can kind of do that at work. And I'm kind of annoyed that you didn't get to uh, eat before going, but whatever. We'll join you at, uh, what are you? You're an assistant nurse. All right, let's go swab a patient for a sample. Let's also go ahead and scan your body. And I'm fully aware that the hat kind of looks silly, but eh, we're going to have to just keep it. So we'll go ahead and do that. We got a good tissue sample. We're going to go ahead and scan you as well, which has got some interesting results. We want to analyze that sample. You are kind of hungry. I guess we'll let you uh, we'll let you get some food just because we do want to make sure she's at least somewhat happy in her work. And then we can go ahead and analyze this sample and see what's going on here. See if we can maybe get a good... Uh, Good idea of what's up with our patient. How's she doing at the moment then? So what do we got? The results strongly indicate the presence of an infectious illness, which needs to be diagnosed and treated. So if we if we were to say compelling diagnosis, we don't have all that much that's actually gonna. Yeah, we we might want to. Uh, we're we're gonna want to hold off a little bit here. Can we maybe refer you for a treadmill test? I don't know if that's going to do anything for us here. But we'll at least give it a shot and see how our cardio is doing. So there we go. We'll get you to run on the treadmill a little bit. I swear, ma'am, you are here like every day. Liz Spaulding is here almost daily. Uh, no sense of the results, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and... I'm going to get her back in an exam bed first. There we go. All right. So let's examine you. Let's check your eyes. All right. We've gotten another. Okay. So a decent uh, diagnosis. Let's go and check your ears. Let's uh, examine and say we'll take your temperature. Okay. Okay. What else can we do here? We're still got, we've still got the three options. That's the problem. Let's check your ears. Okay. I really hope we can, uh, I really hope we can get something here. Discuss general health as well. Let's see how that's going. Apparently that's just an option to generally discuss. Fair enough. 
I really don't know which uh, which option to go for here. I really, I really don't know which one to go for. We could refer you for an X-ray scan, which is something we probably want to do, uh, and then we could go ahead and use the computer as well to actually log the sample results. So let's get you done to the X-ray and see what's up with that. Maybe we'll get some good news. Maybe we won't. We'll see. I'm kind of hopeful. All right. More examinations may be required for a better diagnosis. We'll see how that ends up going. Can we get the patient back to an exam bed? Like, there we go. So that bed will do. If we say diag... Yeah, still... I mean, we're down to these two here. Um, She seemed to be... I think she was sweating there? I think she has the sweaty shivers. I think that's what she's got. It did look like she was sweating there. So let's go and assume it's the sweaty shivers. All right. And we need to treat you at this point. So more choices. Treat patient. Let's see if we got this right. Let's, let's hope that we got this right. Was I right? I was right. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Let's go ahead and swab you for a sample. And then we want to scan your body. Because we're going to hopefully cure two people in one day. Is what we're going to do. So thus far, if we were to say that we wanted to diagnose you, is that a possibility here? No. All right. Let's check your ears. Let's just do all the exams. Check your eyes. Uh, take your temperature. We'll just do everything we can here. All right. Let's... I wanted to check your ears, which apparently we need to do with someone else. Fair enough. Let's just analyze a the sample then. I know that Maria is kind of hungry, but we got to get this sample analyzed. I want to get these two patients treated in the one day. I'm determined. We're going to stay late as well. We are going to figure out what's up with the second patient. Okay, the results strongly indicate one thing. Unfortunately, it seems like uh, we don't know exactly what that is yet. So we're going to have to refer you for a treadmill test and then possibly refer you for an x-ray scan as well. I feel so bad that she has to keep running back and forth and like she's trying to get food, but she can't. I really feel so bad. All right, if you wouldn't mind... What are you... What are you... Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing here? Treadmill test real quick. There we go. So we'll get the treadmill done. Then after all that, we can log the results and also update the medical records. Possible ailment. Continue with the examinations. All right. We're getting there. We're very slowly getting there. I don't think we're going to get to diagnose her. Unless, like, oh, it's going to be one or the other. I think, I don't think it's gas and giggles. I don't think it's gas and giggles. I haven't, I haven't heard any gas nor any giggles. Although she did just hold her stomach slightly there. So that would possibly, that would possibly indicate gas. Okay. Oh, man, we were getting there. We were getting there. Come on, Sims. I mean, at least we're back home, I suppose. Uh, let's maybe go ahead and clean up a little bit. No, 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 no. Let's have my sim clean up a little bit because he's done nothing all day, apparently. So if you wouldn't mind there, buddy, just go ahead and clean up the plates that are lying around. Maybe clean that one up as well. It does look like it's fine, but technically speaking, it's been sat out all day. So I don't know if I want to eat like... I don't know if I want to eat mac and cheese that's been sat in the counter all day. That's That's kind of what I'm getting at here. I also really appreciate that he's going and, like, scraping that out into the bin. Um, which I assume is because he can't get to this bin. So maybe we want to move this. Like, maybe that bin should be, like, there. It does block the cabinet, but I'm wondering if, like, it can actually be used at this point. Because I have a feeling it couldn't before. So what are you up to? Uh, you're upstairs doing something or other. Can we maybe get you to resume writing your book? Because you do... There we go. We can write short stories and write excuse notes for other sims. Okay. 
We'll get this book done eventually. It's going to take some time, but we'll get it done eventually. I'd also really like to get a better computer, but I think that's going to be another one of those, like, eventually things as well. Uh, let's do a surrealism painting. Because we haven't done one of those before. We'll just do a large surrealism painting and see how much that ends up getting us. Uh, as for Indy, I am kind of aware that he's not really had much attention today. So apparently Maria's gonna... There we go. Give him a bit of a hug. Let's see if we can tell him, uh... Let's, let's not do anything because you need to go to the bathroom real quick. So go do that. There you go. And then we can praise Indy. You got a tip that it's aliens night at the bar. I want to check it out. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's praise Indy real quick and then continue to write. I really want to see if we can get this book done. Okay, apparently we're going to talk to the cat again. And we're not, we're, you're not quite holding them right there. Uh, I really want to see if we can get this book done though. So if you wouldn't mind, you know, resuming the writing process, that'd be, that'd be just great. Although maybe you should change into something more comfortable. That does sound so clean out spoiled. F yeah. That does sound slightly more provocative than I meant it to. But I literally meant like, you know, something like this or like this. So every day, formal sport uh, night. Let's party wear. Uh, let's just go with like. Let's just go with like your pajamas. Because I think that's kind of like, that's like optimal. I'm gonna be sat at my computer for a couple of hours. Clothes, right? So just resume writing for a little bit more, and then you can go to bed, because it is getting kind of late. I'm going to be honest, I'm not quite sure how she wound up on the couch down there, but the good news is that the book is done, and is probably on the computer, I guess? If I'm not mistaken, I don't honestly have a clue. More choices, notebook, order, socialize, web, write. I don't know, what, do we, do we, do we have, like, the book? Or do we have to be in the writing career to do it, or... I don't know. Oh wait, I'm the wrong sim. Uh, what about you? So if we go to you and go to write, we can practice, right? Okay, so you've got the book there. It's worth 33 simoleons. What can we do with that, though? How do we, like, how do we, like, self-publish the book? Is my question here. Is there a way to do that? I feel like there should be. I feel like the way to do it is maybe like the mailbox? Self-publish. There we go. So go self-publish the book. And from there, we can see how it goes, I guess. She won't make as much money as selling Rise to Publisher, but will receive small amounts of royalties every day. All right. I guess that works. Kind of happy with that, actually. We've managed to self-publish a book. It's kind of a big deal. It's a pretty big deal, actually. So I think, ladies and gentlemen, with that achievement uh, achieved, we can leave it there for today. I'm kind of happy with uh, the fact that we're maybe starting a new thing. Quite happy that uh, self-publishing is possibly an option. And Indy is a little bit unhappy because he did wind up peeing on the floor uh, just here because I think the litter box was like, he couldn't get to it properly or something. So I've put the litter box out here, which isn't an ideal place for it, but I feel like it's going to let, you know, it's going to keep the cat a bit happier, which is kind of a big deal. So we'll just keep the litter box in that corner. Either way, thank you kindly for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.